9 is currently doing, though. He's 1, 1, and 2. We'll see if he does level up. Interesting. What do you think about that? We haven't really seen a whole lot of 1v1s in this game. Oh, oh that's a big good fissure. fissure. Right click should suffice. He's being just a bit. One more right click will do, and Chrissy goes down. U9 taking the first. Very interesting. Radiance bottom tower. I can't remember last time I've seen attack. a beastmaster with a bottle. Actually, Dyer's top tower is under attack. Mm, that's true. It's not that common unless you play in mid. And well, Ryo was certainly not mid in this game. Still, he has the farm he needs. It's a 13-minute blink if fallen. that's what he wants to buy. Which I'm assuming Dyer's he could also buy the mech for the team. Beastmaster not the Dyer's worst of mech carriers, of course. Did get quite a bit worse. Decent amount of damage to Chrissy. I don't think they can finish Roche quite yet. The wall is in decent position as well. Now. And this is perfectly timed. With time. the whirling death. Jinkyu doing a lot of damage. Oh my god, the Echo Slam is actually going to take out the poor Leon, as well as the Troll Warlord in the end. Raya. <gasps> Roche mm -hmm. slammed. So I think those X's count as units. Oh, okay. Chrissy gets destroyed despite living through that earlier engagement. Mega Sinji Boogie might not get out of this time as well. The Phonic Shield is there. It's going to save him. He's just standing in the shrapnel, though. Down he goes. That is two for nothing. Is Chrissy's gonna dodge the assassinate with the Yules? Can keep him in place. He's gonna take a cast for his trouble. Whoa, okay. with the ultimate. Oh, that's because oh. Jin Q comes in and dies to the finger of death. Chrissy on the run. Echo Slam does literally nothing. And it looks as if Chrissy will get away with his life. This is the right play in this situation. Oh, yeah. Chrissy gets up a big right play on soul. Jin Q at half HP gets bored right off the bat. A couple more right plays. Will suffice for the first one. Oh, wow. Beastmaster buys back into the game, the illusion, <laughs> just chasing the Abaddon. As He's the aggression continues, up. Echo Slam gonna do some decent damage, but Tongfu on the run and Darkseer will finally go down, along with the gem, the last remaining member. It's a little bit scary with the wall this blown time. Up. In the face. The, the wall might have a huge effect here. There's the initiation before the U9 Omni Slash onto Ryo. He pops his cheese. The Omni Slash continues to go. My god, Chrissy continues to do a lot of damage. Big Echo Slam on three heroes. Cass is going to heal up thanks to that. Borrow time. LPC is going to die for his trouble. Again, Chrissy just right clicking away. Jin Q. Honestly. I mean, we're talking about a hero that can come back. Would he have died all three times? I believe so. Okay. I think I'm pretty confident I'm going to say yes. So we're working under the assumption that Abaddon is not doing anything. And they're just letting Shadow Fiend die. That would have been huge <laughs> if they just let him die three times. But. Well, let's just. Yeah, let's just. They had a game. huge impact on the game. Because if your Shadow Fiend dies three times in lane, he falls.